What is up, my friends? Zack Snyder's Justice League. Let's talk about that ending. Before we get into it, if I could ask you to go subscribe to the channel right now, it would really mean a lot. We're on the road to 20,000 subscribers. So, this film, I mean, let's just, for the mo like, I can't even speak because this is something that we were wondering was it ever going to happen? And yeah, it, it happened. It's here. Zack Snyder is able to pretty much bring his film, what he envisioned, to life. Very bittersweet, though, as he has gone on to say that he doesn't think we will be able to see a Justice League 2. But this ending pretty much is giving us a glimpse of what could be. Now, I don't believe that we won't ever see a Justice League 2. I will believe we will see one if this film does good, as I've said before, at the box office and streaming numbers. I think we will be able to see a Justice League 2 at some point. And what we actually see here with this film is a director being able to bring his full vision. And as many have said, a better, a better vision. So this film pretty much ends um, with Victor Stone reassembling his father's tape recorder which we had seen uh be broken earlier and from here pretty much a good closing for cyborg and this film really um as Zack snyder had said many times before was supposed to be cyborg was the heart of this film and so that's exactly what we get here as well so um that's pretty good to see right here um we get aquaman as well and pretty much everything closes as we saw in the original justice league film uh with bruce and diana uh opening the justice league headquarters as well as we've seen and then barry allen and his father um of course clark kent and lois lane um getting back together and so everything pretty much ends uh like that as well um with jk simmons uh james gordon which i had forgot about james k simmons playing james gordon uh, remember how big of a thing that was, right? And so uh, that's pretty much how we end right there. We also get our Lex Luthor and Deathstroke scene we had gotten before, which was sort of a after credit scene we got in Justice League, which I'm still kind of bummed we don't see any uh, Deathstroke and Batman action take place because we've been wanting to see that. Remember how much it was teased and everybody was pumped to see this happen in real life in the live action film, but... We don't get that. We don't get that. But hopefully we will. I'll talk more about that in a bit. Uh, but the big sequence that everybody I think will be talking about is that nightmare sequence. Which got um, teased and uh, leaked earlier this month. And this is probably the best scene in the whole movie in my opinion. For many reasons. So not only is this scene aesthetically pleasing. But it is very interesting to see um, this scene right here. So in this post-apocalyptic setting, we see Darkseid's uh, armada come here. They're floating all over the place, and we see what's left of the Justice League. And what's left of the Justice League here is actually Batman, Cyborg, Mira with Aquaman's trident, Deathstroke with no helmet, and he has a pretty good like look to him. He has like a mohawk, whatever. Uh, the Flash with an upgraded armor as well as a beard, and... None other than Mr. Joker with a SWAT bulletproof jacket and a rifle. And I think that that was a very interesting way for the team up to work. Now, we don't know much about what has happened here. Uh, we do get the Joker and Batman having a one-to-one, -one, which was really, really good. As well as um, Joker pretty much like clowning Bruce for losing people. And this pretty much gets him pissed off. I mean, the exchange here was just great. And I thought that it was very, very well done how it was done. Um, so one of the things that we also see as well is uh, Joker teasing him about Robin. And it's said that he actually burned down Wayne Manor and it killed him as well. And this is something that Zack Snyder had wanted to explore as well, but we don't get it explored here. Um, we do know that Harley Quinn has died here as well. Uh and that's pretty much what we learn from this scene right here. And what we see happen next is we see uh, Mr. Superman return here. And it sort of plays back to the nightmare sequence we saw in Batman vs. Superman. Where this Superman is 
like evil and we see his eyes filled with rage looking at them and so the reason for that is something that the joker actually talked about before and that is Superman went batshit crazy here because Lois has died and we know from Batman versus Superman that that was the key to everything as they said at Lois because that is sort of what kept Mr. Clark Kent's humanity at bay of sorts and when she was gone this is what causes him to sort of flip out. Now, what ends up happening is as they get ready to fight Superman, Bruce actually wakes up and it was a nightmare indeed. And what we see then happen is Mr. Martian Manhunter shows up and Mr. Martian Manhunter is pretty much just like, yeah, we're going to have to uh, find the anti-life equation before Mr. Darkseid comes here and tears shit up. Um, so Martian Manhunter, of course, is Lieutenant General Kevin Swanwick. And one of the things that we learned about this was uh, Snyder said that he was actually always going to be Martian Manhunter and it was going to be something that was going to be revealed. And yeah, that's that's pretty much that what we got right here. We actually see that happen. Um, he introduces himself as well and he leaves Bruce Wayne with the um, idea that they have to work together to prevent Darkseid from coming. And that's pretty much where we end this film right here with them saying, yeah, we're going to work together against Darkseid. So a Justice League 2, will that happen or will it not? I hope it will happen. I know Snyder can't go out here and say like, yeah, this is going to happen and it's going to be good. I know he's waiting to see what Warner Brothers, what HBO Max and all of them are saying before he can actually say it himself because he can't just flat out and be like, we want to make this film and we're going to make it and then get in trouble with Warner Brothers. So I think he really is trying to test the waters and see where to go from here. So it should be interesting to see what he wants to do with a Justice League 2. Does Warner Brothers want to bring it to the table? Will it happen? Because it's awesome that he got to finish Justice League, but I know and we all know that this was always going to be a two-parter. So that two-parter somewhere in there. He's gone on to talk about what it could be. I've made a video about it if you want to go check it out. This ending just pretty much is a cliffhanger into that and something we all want to see, definitely. But I think other than that, we all want to see a Batman series. We all want to see uh, Deathstroke, Joker, and Batman all interacting because the little bit that we got just was gold. And honestly, it was something that we just need, I think, honestly. So I don't know. You let me know what you think about this movie. Have you seen the ending? What are your thoughts on the film as well? But honestly, um, after those leaks and all of that, I was very much so like, I, I would say more excited about what was to come. And now actually seeing it in the quality that it's meant to be seen and all of that, I'm 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 excited to like for this to be good because I wanted to do good i want to see what comes next but i think it's going to be something that will only happen if this film is like excels at everything because it seems that the dcu is like moving on into something different and i couldn't see like them actually going ahead and giving the green light to justice league 2 unless the demand was huge like out of this world huge so i don't know we'll see what happened uh, how this does it is playing in theaters it does have like an intermission as well uh, if you were wondering about it if you go see it in theaters I think at the halfway point you get like a 20 minute intermission since it's like four hours long so enough time to get some more refreshments go to a restroom take a stretch a walk all that um, but yeah let me know what you think about it are you excited for a Justice League 2 if it were to happen or after this film, are you just done with this version of the DC Universe and are you ready to move on to something else entirely? Which, I don't know. I think they could do it. I think Warner Bros. and DC have pretty much already like solidified that they're doing like separate Elseworld stories with everything. So it could happen. I could definitely um, see Darkseid and Justice League going at it in one final showdown to really close... Zack Snyder's uh, true vision for everything because like I said he had these films mapped out when they got announced and I think he knows how he wants to finish it but he's just waiting for the go ahead and I think we're going to see it uh, the fans they were so dedicated to bringing this version 
that I don't think they're going to leave it and not want that part too. So anything can happen. Comic-Con is in a couple of months. It would be big if they announced something there. But in the meantime, enjoy the movie. Let me know your thoughts. What did you think about the nightmare sequence? It was amazing. I would love to see that cliffhanger be revised and come back to. And I would also love to see a Batman solo show at some point. But that one's, I think, more wishful thinking than anything. Um, anyways, as always, go ahead and follow me on Twitter. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Make sure you like, comment, share, all that good stuff. I'll see you next time. As always, stay positive.